it was January of 2017 when I started this journey on social media. I look back and I think to myself, like, you know, what what made me hang in there um, when all of my friends, family, business partners, none of them understood. Um, a lot of them made fun of me. Just no one really got like, why is this guy doing this? Like what we're doing right now, all the time, all the time. And, and you're right, like having those people that just don't understand. Like mm -hmm. there's this, there's this idea that like if I don't understand it, that means like there's something wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But I experienced the exact same thing. It's like none of my friends understood. And there's this feeling, especially because you're putting yourself out there. Yeah. It's like there's this feeling like as though like, well, it's gotta be like ego or yes. like they're trying to like they think that they're better than us. Yes. Or they think that they're special. It's like, no, like I I actually don't think that at all. It's just wanting to put stuff out there to help other people. I actually don't think there's anything special about me whatsoever. I think that's the whole point of this, is that there is nothing special about me, but there is something very special about what I have done over the last two years and what I will continue to do, which is outwork every human on this planet. That I think is special and I think it needs to be seen, needs to be heard, and I think it will be something that will provide value in a tangible way for people. See? And quite frankly, I don't know uh, what, what kind of kept me in the game other than what had been just bored into me by listening to every single piece of content Gary Vee has put out and just understanding that this next three to five years was the largest land grab that will ever exist on social media and quite frankly the internet. It's a lot of pressure. Like man, it's a lot of pressure. Um, like I'm, you know, that who am I? Um, uh, who am I? Um, question that who am I complex you could even call it like who am I to sit here on, on video right now and, and talk to you who am I um, it's hard to shake that uh, because of things that have happened in the past and failures and failures and failures and failures and when you have this type of transformation that I've had over the last three and a half years going from being unemployed to you know, almost seven hundred thousand dollars in income last year and um, you know, ownerships and companies and, and things that have happened so fast. Uh, three and a half years is very fast. Um, it, it feels like it's happened in the blink of an eye. Um, and it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to uh, process. It's a lot to deal with. And um, it's, <laughs> it's a lot to deal with also throwing myself into a world where I'm documenting everything online in the process. <laughs> so it's early mornings. It's lack of sleep. Um, it's being misunderstood um, at times um, by people. It's, you know, pain, uh, physical pain sometimes, um, emotional pain, uh, sacrifice, loneliness. Um, being out here on your own um, is very difficult and there's a cost that's associated with that. The reality is, is you're someone with a story and you've been through things and and it's become very, very deep for me. Ryan Mickler said it probably best at Meltdown in the Desert last year when he talked about the fact that someone is waiting to hear your story. 